This is Jemima, she's my daughter, she's 12 years old. Uh, last year for her birthday, we bought her a camera. She loves cameras. I'm just in seconds there already. Um, public footpath, when I, was, when I was a teenager, we didn't take the public footpath. What we ended up doing was a group of people was going over a great big forest of rhododendron bushes. It's one of the best things I've ever done. It was, we literally climbed up to the top and went over the top. And that was just by going against the grain of doing what society wants us to do. This reminds me of a, a picture we have at home, which is called Love Will Fire Into Last Journey. And it's about that going nowhere, going into the void. Where does it go? Is it good? Is it bad? I'll use this, shall I? Um, and for me, an endless deal on that doesn't, it doesn't have to be negative. To me, it can be positive. It can be invigorating. This image is about, well, just simplicity, really. It's about simplicity to me, and, and it's about just just thinking straight, really. And it's just an image that captured me when, when Jemima took it, and I kind of thought, that is just it. Things get too complicated in life. But then this is an example of something which is complicated in life, because it reminds me of the absolute intricate nature and beauty of, of nature itself. This image could quite easily be a tiny newborn baby with a tiny perfect little fingernails and the limbs, and it just nature is just wonderful, isn't it? And, it? and it's so clever. This is about strength in numbers to me. A picture of just one boot on its own would be interesting, but not anywhere near as powerful as these four images coming together. And what that says to me is, transfer that to people and get four minds working on a problem instead of one mind, and you'll get the solution much more easily. You need to work together. But if you are stuck in that place where something's whirring round and round and round in your head and you can't find the answer to it, Somewhere there'll always be a point of focus and just zoom in on that point of focus in the fog and grow it and expand it and you will find the answer. The answer will be there for you. Nature is, is, is a wonderful thing. This, this next image, just imagine, this is a crystal inside a stone. Just imagine if nobody had ever discovered that when you break that stone, there's that beautiful crystal inside it. Crystals are alive, they're, they're energetic and they're hidden inside this grey exterior, and what does that say about so many of us and so many people? Which brings me on to Bailey. Bailey lives on our living room, in the living room on our table. Um, Bailey makes me think about masks and about how, as human beings, we tend to hide behind the mask and hide our emotions and our feelings behind a mask. What's Bailey saying to you now? What's, what does Bailey make you think? This is the all-seeing eye, and it clearly isn't a young eye. You've got the folds of skin and the, the little laughter lines, which make you say it's a slightly older eye. And that just makes me think of wisdom, really. And we just need to give older people and age and wisdom some respect, because I think, I think that's age deserves respect, and that's what that says to me. Starbucks is known as the third place. It's not work, it's not home, somewhere between the two. Now, I'm the only person who drinks coffee in our house, and yet our family, the four of us, often find ourselves going to Starbucks or similar places, and it's really just a nice place to be, because there's no distractions of TVs and everything. It's just a nice, comfortable place to enjoy yourselves and relax. And there it is again in the background there, but this one's about water. This is about the, the endless cycle of, of water that goes round and round, and, and that represents energy to me, which is also recycled round. And just, just thinking of water, it's, we eat it, we eat it, we drink it, we touch it, we feel it, we play in it. We're actually made of it, 70% of us, and without water, where would we be? I live in the countryside. And this one for me is about lying on my back on a nice summer's day and just looking at the sky, that big open sky. And it just makes me think of just how amazing just we are, really, how insignificant we are on the earth, but how insignificant earth is in the universe and where does it all go I don't know give way how can we all give way if we all give way all the time nobody gets anywhere think of the mini roundabout three roads coming to a mini roundabout you drive to the mini roundabout you all stop at the junction and you all give way to the next person coming from the right somebody has to take the lead yes yeah, somebody has to take the lead in life we can't all give way this one makes me go all warm and gooey. It's about music. Music's a real passion of mine. I studied music and, and I think Jemima's really just captured music for me here because the guitar can be used in lots of different new types of music and you can use music to relax too, you can use it to energise yourself, you can use it to, to have background music or driving along the road. This is perspective. I was there when Jemima took this picture and the, the statue in the background, if you go to that statue in the background, it's actually about seven feet tall and it's quite imposing and yet you come back 
and you see it through the eye of, of another sculpture and it's a completely different perspective and it's just a really good way of looking at things I think. This one's totally abstract, I just like the shapes, I like the fact that those steel girders have been around for years and years and years and represent real strength and although they've been around for years and years they're still there but overall that's, this is just a real, that's just a strong image I think. The next one in contrast is, is very different because it's, it's soft and it's gentle and there's no focus. But if you look carefully, there's every colour of the rainbow in that picture. And I think that to me is just a really good picture just to go, oof, just to chill to and to relax to and just to ponder life and ponder the world uh, and get yourself into a, into a good place. A road to nowhere, a no road to no destination, an unknown journey, and yet these two people are taking it together, that's what this one says to me. Just imagine if there was just one person walking down that road, I think the image would be a very different image, and the whole idea of camaraderie and two people going along an unknown path together is, is nice. We're all individuals, aren't we? I think every one of us is an individual and gives something individual to the world, and we all try our very, very best to, to put into the, the, the world and what we can, and yet for me, we're all combined. Somewhere deep down we're all connected to something much, much, much bigger. And that's the thought I'd like to leave you with tonight. <laughs>